What's happening, family? Another episode of the Transformation Lab. You see this picture, and you see I couldn't even use all of the words, but it's something we need to talk about. It's something that we need to discuss. There are many, many people, uh, many women, men as well, but in this particular um, story, women, who will, they'll have this thought, hey, you know, if I lose weight or if I lose too much weight, you know, I don't want to lose my my backside, you know, whatever you want to call it, want to be, keep it, you know, PG, you know, women will say, you know, I, I don't want to, I don't want to lose it. I don't want to lose too much, etc. And a lot of times this type of mindset and perspective as it relates to personal transformation via the manifestation of losing weight can create traps that lead to self-sabotage. And what happens is a lot of a lot of women will allow how they desire themselves to be, regardless of what is connected to in terms of them being their best possible selves or being in their best, their healthiest state, to be what stops them from being there. But you cannot let this statement stop you. And I want to plant this seed in the mind of any person who's coming through, will come through one of the future sessions, is in a current session, or if you're a person that's working on yourself independent of this, a couple of things. The first thing that I want you all to understand in this is you can't allow your subjective opinions on your physical physique, okay, to mitigate your spiritual maximization of your personal transformation. In other words, don't let a dress size or how you think your backside looks in jeans or how well you think somebody else uh, is attracted to, to your assets. Okay. At the end of the day, what should be important is not the fact that how you, how, how attractive you feel that you are in terms of that element of self, but in maximizing your health and wellness. There are a lot of people and a lot of women who are very shapely, voluptuous. They are uh, plus, my, plus size and they like their curves. And there's nothing wrong with loving and liking who you are. But it is, it is a problem when those curves come at a cost of your personal health. So what should be the driver of how far or how much you lose weight shouldn't be your dress size or how your backside looks in jeans, but is how can I optimize my overall health and well-being? It's a fact. Two, what you have to understand, sisters, is if you're 250 pounds and you're shapely, guess what? You're going to be two. You're going to be shapely at 200 pounds. You're going to be shapely at 185 pounds. You're going to be shapely at 175 pounds, at 165 pounds. You cannot discount genetics. So whatever you think you're going to lose, trust me, if you've got those assets, okay, we'll keep it like that. If you got those curves, if you have that, that physique, it's not going anywhere. And, and, and so you shouldn't allow that to be what keeps you in saying, well, you know, I, I, I don't want to be below a 10 or I don't want to be below a 12. Well, what if your optimal health is a size eight or if you get to a size six? So get off of the size and get off of, oh, I don't want to lose it. Because at the end of the day, any person who authentically wants you for who you are, OK, is an individual who should want you to be your best self. And if there's any person in your life who wants you to stay where you are, but not have optimal health, is someone who is not team you. Another fact. All right. The third thing that, that people have to understand is understand what your true value is. Understand that your true value is not your backside. It's not how you look. OK, because at the end of the day, we're living in this Aquarian age where so many people are caught, caught up on how we look and how they look. And we're living in this Kardashian era 
whereby people are becoming so consumed and 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 filled with with uh topical beauty so you're seeing all types of enhancements all type of lip enhancements all type of physique enhancements and what what it's doing is is creating low key depression in the consciousness of natural women so you got natural women who are gorgeous who are sitting around here scrolling on social media feeling that they need an enhancement of of, of sorts to be more attractive but at the end, end of the day the attractiveness that you think you're gaining in that procedure or in that topical application is not making you a more valuable person but what makes you a more valuable person is when you work on you when you maximize who you are and we cannot be our best possible selves when we have health and wellness that has been mitigated and compromised by poor lifestyles and poor habits you see at the end of the day people can look however they want you see the 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 videos on social media where people literally go from looking like trolls to beauty queens based upon this uh these advanced applications of makeup it's almost magic all right people are using filters people are using uh, filters on top of filters everybody's fake nobody's real anymore so at the end of the day i wanted to bring this up in this transformational lab specifically to our women don't allow your curves or your subjective opinions of what size you should be or how you should look in jeans should be what stops you from being your best possible self you put your head in the wind and you work and you learn as much as you can and you maximize who you are and when you maximize who you are it doesn't matter what size you are let the chips fall where they may when i become my best possible self i'm walking in the room and the first thing i'm saying is who's coming in second all right peace